Hello friends, welcome back to Relief Tutorials. Today we are going to discuss a new chapter of Mathematics Probability. Already in 9th standard we have learned this chapter. So you are familiar with the terms like probability, experiment, trial, event, occurrence of an event, okay, etc. So today we are going to recap all those terms. So first of all, we will learn what is probability. Clear? So you know what is probability? So probability is the study of chances. So it is a it is a study study of chances. Study of the chances, or we can say likelihood. Likelihood or chances of events happening. Events happening. So, what is probability? So, it is a study of the chances or we can say likelihood of events happening. Okay, and it is measured by number. It is measured by number lying between, measured by number lying between 0 and 1 between 0 and 1. Okay. So now, first we will learn few terminology of this chapter. First we will learn of experiments. Experiments. So what is experiment? So it is an operation which produces some well defined outcomes. It is called an experiment. Here. Yeah. So, an operation, it is an operation which produce, operation which produced, which produces some well defined, some well defined outcomes. It is called an experiment. Example, we can say, see, tossing a coin, tossing a coin. So, if you toss a coin, that operation will produce some well defined outcomes that is tossing a coin will produce two outcomes that is head and tail so this is an operation which produce well defined outcomes that is called experiment and there are two types of experiment experiments are of two types see experiments is of two types one we can say random experiment Random experiment and other is deterministic, deterministic experiment. Random and deterministic, we will deal with only random experiment. So, you should know that what is random experiment. Clear? What is random experiment? So, if an experiment when repeated under identical condition, it will not produce the same outcomes every time. So, suppose you are performing an experiment of tossing a coin 20 times. So, every time it will not produce the same outcomes. So, we can say random experiment is what? If an experiment when repeated under identical condition, you should know what is identical conditions. Conditions while performing these 20 trials of tossing a coin should be same. So, if an experiment when repeated under identical condition do not produce the same outcomes every time, but the outcome produced in each trial is one of the several possible outcomes. See, for example, I say you have performed an experiment of tossing a coin 20 times. You know what are the possible outcomes? That is head and tail. So, every time head will not appear, every time tail will not appear. Here, so either head or tail, sometime head may produce, sometime tail may be produced. Okay, so what happens? Every time the same outcomes will not appear, but the outcomes which are produced in each trial is one of the several possible outcomes. So here these two are possible outcomes. So outcome will be one out of head and tail. Such experiment is called random experiment or it is also known as probabilistic experiment. But we will use the term random experiment. 
so tossing a coin is a random experiment because if you toss a coin you know that either head or tail will appear but if we toss a coin again and again then each time outcome will not be the same but it will be sure it will be either head or tail so what i want to tell you is when you perform an experiment under identical conditions every time same outcome will not appear but it will be one of the outcome out of total outcomes that is called random experiment example tossing a coin clear now deterministic experiment what do you mean by deterministic experiment so an experiment which when repeated under identical condition produce the same result or outcomes every time is known as deterministic experiment why because you can determine only one outcome will appear every time so you will be quite determinate as a result it is called deterministic experiment example i can say tossing of an unfair coin unfair coin tossing of unfair coin tossing of unfair see you should know this what do you mean by unfair coin tossing of an unfair coin unfair means having either head or tail on both the side coin having head on both the side or tail on both the side such coin is called unfair coin see if it is had it has head on both the side then if you toss 20 time every times the outcome will be same that is head so such experiments are called determinate experiment okay so it will give the same result every time you toss the coin okay so here uncertainty does not occur you are certain quite certain that head only will appear if you will throw it for toss it for 20 times or 50 times whatever it may be so here uncertainty does not occur whereas in random experiment there is uncertainty therefore we will deal only with random experiment okay so this is about experiment now now we will discuss term like trial trial what do you mean by trial so trial is an action which result in one or several outcomes example see if a coin is tossed 20 times then each toss is called a trial okay if you toss a coin 20 times then each toss is called a trial so if a coin is tossed 20 times how many times suppose 20 times clear then each toss then each toss is called a trial is called a trial so what is trial is it clear so if a coin is tossed 20 times then each toss is called a trial now we will learn one more term that is called event so what is event so an event for an experiment an event for an experiment is the collection is the collection of some outcomes some outcomes of the experiment have you got it so what is event an event for an experiment is the collection of some outcomes of that particular experiment generally we denote it is denoted it is denoted by e it is denoted by letter e or we can say e1 e2 e3 etc etc see example i can say see getting an even number in a single throw of a dice okay getting getting an even number getting an even number in a single throw of a dice in a single throw of a dice single throw of a dice is an event so you know that when you throw a dice all possible outcomes are possible outcomes are 1 2 3 4 5 6 
but getting an even number. So that will be 2, 4 and 6. So getting an even number in a single throw of a dice is called example of an event. And here you know this event will consist outcomes like 2, 4 and 6. So these are the outcomes of an event. Or you can say getting an odd number in a single throw of a dice. Then you will get 1, 3 and 5. Or getting a number less than 4. So you will get 1, 2, 3, 4. So all these are the events. Now we will discuss elementary event. Elementary event. What do you mean by elementary? The name itself suggests elementary means one element. An event having only one outcomes. An event having only having only one outcomes. One outcomes of the random experiment of the random experiment is called elementary event. See for example we can say in tossing of a coin the possible outcomes are head and tail. So getting head or tail are known as elementary event. So if you conduct an experiment of tossing a coin, tossing a coin then what will be outcomes? So outcomes will be outcomes will be either head or tail only one outcomes will appear either head will appear or tail will appear so it has only one element so it is called elementary event here yeah. so this is about elementary event so you have learned what is trial what is event what is elementary event okay now we will learn occurrence of an event See an event, any event E, suppose event E, this is associated with an experiment, associated, associated to a random experiment, random experiment. So an event E associated to a random experiment is said to be occur or it is said to be happen. In a trial, if the outcomes of trial is one of the outcomes that favors. See, you don't go on a language part, I will explain you. Example, I will give. If a die is rolled and the outcomes of a trial is 4, then we say that event getting an even number has happened. See, for example, I will say you are tossing a die. Okay, you are throwing a die. So, all outcomes, possible outcomes, possible outcomes will be. Possible outcomes will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. These are the possible outcomes of throwing a dice. Okay. And now, if we get one event, if we get 2, 4 or 6, if this number we get, then we can say that, okay, event getting an even number has happened. What has happened? All these three numbers are even numbers. So we can say that event getting an even numbers has happened. Clear? So what I want to explain you is, is occurrence of an event. When you can say this event has occurred. So if you get either 2 or 4 or 6, any outcomes it appear, then we can say that Okay, this event of getting even number has happens or occurred. So that is called occurrence of an event. Now, probability of an event. Probability of an event. See, what do you mean by probability of an event? Probability. This we have learned in 9th standard. Probability of an event. Probability of an event. So definition that is denoted by P of E. So this is called probability of event E. So that we say that how we will explain this probability of event E. So we have a formula the number of outcomes favorable to event E or total number of outcomes. But before that I will explain you what are the favorable outcomes. Okay. What are favorable outcomes before that see now. Now we will discuss this later. I will keep as it is. Now before that see I have to explain few terms. So that I will explain here see. Equally likely outcomes. 
very important topic equally probable event outcomes or equally likely outcomes you should get familiar with this term what do you mean by equally likely outcomes see the outcomes of a random experiment are said to be equally likely when each outcome is likely to occur as the other for example see if you conduct an experiment of tossing a coin experiment of tossing a coin random experiment of tossing out coin so when you toss a coin what are the possible outcomes you will get so head or tail so the chance of getting head is 50 percentage you know and chance of getting tail is also 50 percentage so probability of occurrence of both this event is equal so there are equal chances of getting head and there are also equal chances of getting tail when you toss a coin so such outcomes are called equally likely outcomes clear one more thing see when you throw a dice throwing a dice when you throw a dice throwing a dice so what are the possible outcomes you will get 1 2 3 4 5 6 so come on tell me what are the chances of getting one it is equals to the chances of getting two and it is also equal to the chances of getting three so all these outcomes have equal chances clear so we can say okay, all these outcomes are equally likely outcomes we can't say that okay, six has 80 percentage of chance to appear and four has only five percentage chance no both has equal chances you will get either four or also six you can't predict that so all these outcomes are called equally likely outcomes so every outcome has equal chance to occur clear so they are equally likely outcomes i hope you understood that what do you mean by equally likely outcomes see same chance of getting head and same chance of getting tail as a result before match you know that in order to decide who will bat first they will toss a coin why because it is a uh, perfect experiment to decide why because head and tail have equal chance 50 50 now favorable outcomes we will see favorable outcomes favorable outcomes what do you mean by favorable outcomes so the outcomes it is the outcomes see understand this outcomes which ensure which ensure the occurrence of an event which ensure the occurrence of an event occurrence of an event are called favorable outcomes see now favorable outcomes of an event of getting an even number when a dice is thrown okay when a dice is thrown event of getting event of getting even number event of getting even number come on tell me even number See if say this E is equals to event of getting even number. When this event will occur, when you throw a dice, what number has to be appeared? 2, 4, or 6. Out of this, any one number appears, then you can say okay, we got even number. So all these outcomes, 2, 4, 6, out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, these are all possible outcomes. Out of these possible outcomes, if 2, 4, and 6 appears, any of these outcomes appear then we can say that okay event of getting even number has occurred so they are favorable outcomes to occur this event when this event will occur if you get two four or six so they are called favorable outcomes clear now we are going to learn one more topic very important topic that is Before that, I will explain you now this uh, probability of event. So, probability of event is denoted by P. E. And what do you mean by that? Number of outcomes, number of outcomes favorable, favorable to event E, favorable to event E upon total number of outcomes, total number of outcomes. See, if we take this example only, okay, event of getting even number. If we conduct one experiment of throwing a dice, 
okay throwing it as event e we can say e is equal to event of getting e1 number event of getting e1 number so now come and tell me here which are the favorable outcomes favorable outcomes means when this event will occur of getting e1 number when a dice is thrown what outcome should appear so you know favorable outcomes are 2 4 and 6 so total number of outcomes are 3 2 4 6 these are the favorable outcomes and what are all possible outcomes all possible outcomes or total outcomes possible outcomes means total outcomes total outcomes so total outcomes are 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this all all total outcomes and our event of getting even number will occur if we get 2 if we get 4 or if we get 6 any of this number appear then we can say that we got even number so our event of getting even number has occurred so now how you will find probability of event e is equals to what you will write number of outcomes favorable to event e so favorable outcomes to event e are how many 3 out of total outcomes are 6 so 3 out of 6 so half so this is our probability half see total 6 out of 6 3 so that is half similarly if we say event of getting odd number so odd number means 1 3 5 so that will be three outcomes out of six outcomes so same probability half clear so this is about probability of an event now we will discuss what is impossible event impossible event so again we are going to discuss few term impossible event impossible event what do you mean by impossible event an event which is impossible to occur and event which is impossible to occur which is impossible to occur an event which is impossible to occur is called an impossible event is called an impossible event so an event which is impossible to occur is called an impossible event and probability of impossible event okay probability of impossible event probability of impossible event impossible event so probability of impossible event is always zero example i can say see example you can say event of getting 7 event of getting 7 on throwing a dice on throwing a dice come on when we throw a dice which are the possible outcomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 we will never get 7 so number of favorable outcomes are number of favorable outcomes favorable outcomes so number of favorable outcomes is equals to zero so probability of event e if i say so probability of event e is equals to number of favorable outcomes to event e zero total outcomes six so what you will get answer z so probability of impossible event is always zero clear now suppose if we can say c probability of an event that sun rise in west we know that sun rise in the east it is universal truth sun will never rise in west so that's probability will be zero clear now sure event sure event sure or certain it is called sure or certain event sure or certain event so an event an event which is sure to occur which is sure to occur an event which is sure to occur is called is called a sure event is called a sure event or certain event and probability probability of certain event or sure event is always 1 example we can say example c event event of getting a number event of getting a number less than 7 less than 7 in a 
थ्रो ऑफ एडाइस इन ए थ्रो ऑफ एडाइस कम ऑन सो यू नो डाइस एज ए नंबर वन टू सिक्स सो ऑल दो नंबर आर लेस देन सेवन सो यू वॉन्ट ऑफ गेटिंग ए नंबर लेस देन सेवन इन ए थ्रो ऑफ डाइस सो वी आर क्वाइट श्योर दैट वी शॉल ऑलवेज गेट ए नंबर लेस देन सेवन वे नंबर वी थ्रो ए डाइस सो वी कैन से प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ इवेंट ई Less than seven. Less than seven. Favorable outcome is one, two, three, four, five, six. So probability is six out of six. That is equals to one. Favorable outcome. These are favorable outcomes. Clear. These are favorable outcomes. Outcomes of getting a number less than seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All these number are less than seven. So all this. Number there are six number favorable outcomes. Total outcome is six, so you will get one. So probability of sure event is always one, and probability of impossible event is always zero. Okay. Now, see, we will discuss few more topic. We will discuss problem based on tossing a coin. See here. See. Now, coin has two sides. You know, head and tail. If we toss one more coin, then the possible outcomes are as follows. See, if you are tossing a two coin, tossing two coins at a time, simultaneously at a time, at a time. Then, if you toss one coin, what are the possible outcomes? Head and tail. And if you toss second coin, there are also possible outcomes: head and tail. So now. What are the total possible outcomes? See, I am writing possible outcomes in this set notation form. So, what you will get when you toss a two coin? So, you will get head, 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 tail. See what I am doing here? Head, head, then head, tail, head, tail. Then here this tail, head, t h. Then this tail, 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 tail. So, these are the total possible outcomes when you toss two coin at a time. On first coin you get head. On second coin also you will get head. So head head. On first you will get head. On second coin, suppose you and your friend both are tossing a coin at a time, then you get head. Your friend also get head. You get head. Your friend get tail. You get tail. Your friend got head. You got tail. Your friend also get tail. So these are the all possible outcomes. There are no other outcomes other than this. Clear? So this tossing two coins at a time. Now similarly. Tossing three coins at a time. Three coins at a time. So suppose your friend you. So you will get two outcomes: head and tail. Your friend he get two outcomes: head and tail. Your third friend, second friend, he also get head and tail. So three friends are tossing a coin, and these are the outcomes of three of you. Now you want to find all possible outcomes. Then what you will do? First you will do this, as we have done here. So what we will get when two coins are tail head head h h head tail h t then tail head t h then tail tail t t then again you write this as it is head and tail clear so now this with this so what you will get head 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 then this with t or with this now this with head So all these four outcomes will multiply with this first. So now what you will get H T H, then T H H, then T T H. Over now with this, what you will do H H T. Clear? Then this H T T, then T H T, then T T T. So these are the boss. But every time to conduct in this manner will consume more time, so we will develop some shortcut method. See here, first three head. Okay, so you will write three head. Then here say two head. Here also two head. Okay, here two heads. Okay, so what you will do two head now. So now H H T. Then you will change the position of T. You will change the position of T. You keep on changing the position of T. See H H H H H T. Then H T H. So it was in third place. Now it is in second place. Then T H H. Now it is in first place. Have you got it, friends? What I have done? Clear. Three head, two head, 
two head, two head. Clear? So first three head, then two heads. See this two heads, two heads. But you see the position of T here at third place, then at second place, then at first place. Clear? So three heads, three heads, then two heads. Now one head, one head. So what you will get one head. So T T H C one head. Clear? Then you will get T H T. Then H T T. See now head third position, second position, first position. Or we can say first three head, then here two heads, then now here see one head, one head. Now zero head. Zero head means no head. T T T. Have you got it? So total outcomes. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How you got that? See three coins. So here total outcomes two. Here also total outcomes you see here. Total outcomes two. Here also total outcomes two. Here also total outcomes two. Two into two. Four. Four into two. So what you will get? Eight possible outcomes. Clear? If you have four coins, four coins means two, 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 two. So you will get sixteen outcomes. Have you got it, friends? How to write this? First, you will write all three heads. Then you will write two heads. Then you will write one head. Then you will write zero. Have you got it? See here three heads. Here two heads. Here also two heads. Here also two heads. Here one head. One, one, and at last zero head. Clear? So in this way we can write all the possible outcomes. Clear? So I hope you understood the theory. Same way, if you want to find, say. Tossing two dice. Last topic. Tossing two dice at a time. Two dice at a time. So one dice. What you will get? One, two, three, four, five, six. On second, your friend dies. He also get one, two, three, four, five, six. So this outcome you will get, and this outcome your friend will get. How many numbers are there? Six. How many numbers are here? Total numbers are six. Here also total numbers are six. Six into six, so total outcome will be equal to thirty-six. How we'll get that? See, first one, one one, one two, one three, one four, one five, one six. So you will get this way. See, one one. You will get one. Your friend will get one. Then you will get one. Your friend will get two. This way, one one. Then you will get one two. Then you will get one three. Then you will get one four. Then one five. And one six. This way. one two one three one four one five and one six. Clear. Then two. Then what you will write two one two two. This way two one two 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 three two four two five and two six. Clear. Then comes with three. Then with three. So what you will write three one three two three 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 four. Three five and three six. Clear? Then you will write with four. So what you will write? Four one four as it is. Two four three four 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 five four six. Clear? Then with five five one five two five three five four five five and five six. Then with six. So six one six two six three six four six five. And six six. So see total. How many are there? One two three four five six. This six 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 are. How you got thirty six? So these all are the possible outcomes of tossing two dice at a time. These are the possible outcomes. Clear? So this is the theory part. Just go through the theory. Don't bother much about the definition and all this thing. Just get familiar with the terms. What is experiment? What is even? What is equally likely outcomes? What are favorable outcomes? What are total outcomes? What is probability of an event? What is impossible event? What is certain event? What is trial? Clear elementary event. All these terms you have to get a family. Okay. So with this we have completed our theory. In next lecture we will discuss your exercise. Thank you very much.